Hey, Stukalady from Uke Mullum here. Thanks for stopping by. This is a request for my patron, Laura Vives, all the way from Vanuatu. He has requested Susie Q by CCR. This is a great song written on the guitar. And on the guitar, the riff that we all love makes so much sense and it's very easy to play because the notes are all linear. And you've got your low E over here. Now for us, if we're going to play in the key of E, that's the lowest E we've got. So the cool riff is based on the E minor pentatonic scale, which is what all the cool rock and roll is based on, minor pentatonic scales. Okay, so we're starting here on the second fret on the top string. Then we go to the fifth. And then we're on the next string we're going to the two. And then the four. Next string we're going to the three. And the five and three and five. And then we want to go to seven and then 10 and then 12. So that's it. First half of the riff is like so. One more time. So we're going from 10 on the bottom string and 10 on the next string to eight. And then on the next string, hammer from seven to nine and another hit on the nine, so. Yep. And then we're going to come down here and hammer from the two to the four and end up on the three in the next string. Straight to the third string, open. And then landing on the E, the root note. So hammer from two to four three in the next string, open third string, and then the second fret top string. All together. I think that's probably gonna be the easiest way to play it. There are other alternatives, but let's go with that for now. Now I've watched a few videos of John Fogarty performing this song and he doesn't actually play the whole riff when he's singing the song. He can only kind of get the first part and then the rest is vamping the chords. So let's look at the chords. Now the chords are E7. That's one way you can play E7. Here's another way that I prefer. Because you've got the E in the bass. That's cool. So if you were just playing the chords, that's where I'd be. And then you go to the A7, which is, that's your best bet there. And then we're gonna go straight to a C, to a B7, back to the E. Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q. Baby, I love you. Suzy Q. My good lady's getting away from me. I don't have a strap. I need to get in there and hold it tighter. Okay, so that's how I would play it if I was in this part of the neck. But if I want to play that riff up here, that's as much of it as I'm going to get. So I need an E7 chord that is going to be easy to reach. And there it is. So that's nine, seven, nine, zero. Mm -hmm. 
it's hard to get. Oh, Susie Q. Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Now I need an A7. What about this one? Baby, I love you. Do I need a, a C chord? I could do there. And then that'll be my B. It's not a seven chord though. So what else can we do? If you would like the song sheet with the tab for this lesson, head on over to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward stroke you come on. Head over there and grab it now. If you can't become my patron, you can still support this channel by making a one-time donation using the super thanks below on the loved heart shaped button. Go ahead and make a donation now. So I've got an E up here and now I need an A7. So one way we could do an A7 is move that finger down two frets below, add that one there, add this one there. How's that sound? Bit tricky, bit advanced. You can do it if you practice. So you've got your E and we're going to go to our A7 chord. To get there, that finger's gonna slide down one fret, that finger's gonna slide down one fret, that finger's gonna slide down two frets. Okay. A7. So you've got Susie Q. Susie Q. Susie Q. Baby, I love you. See? B7, Suzy Q. So there are your options. Either there's two people playing and one's playing your E7 down here. And someone's doing the riff. Or if you're doing a solo arrangement, I would recommend learning those chords up there and putting it all together. So you start off. Oh, Susie Q. And then you've got to play the riff, right? You're really going to need to practice that change because it's quite foreign, especially when you're chucking the riff in there. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Q. I love you, Susie Q. I've been working on a course called Daddy Daughter Ukulele, which teaches complete beginners how to play ukulele and to be able to teach their young ones. Don't even have to have a daughter. Just because it's called Daddy Daughter, you might not even be a dad. Everyone's invited and it's currently on special because I'm trying to get as many people doing the course so that we can build this together. So for the moment, you can get the entire course for one time price of $47. If you'd like to know more, click the link below. You know, it might be nice to learn how to play this in the key of D, in which case your riff starts a tone lower here on the eighth fret. So we've got And down here we've got a hammer on the third string and then finger on the first fret of the second string. And then you come into the third fret of the top string. And then you get the open D, which is the lowest note on the baritone. So that's going to be cool. One more time. In which case you're going to need a D7. That one's not so great. Sounds too country to me. So here's one I found. You can do this D7 up here. Now that's based on your A7, but you're going to move it up to the seventh fret. And it's even cooler if you take that finger off the top string, because now you've got the bottom D. Now we're talking. Okay, so now we're going to need a G7 
we can do that one, but it's a bit far away from here, especially if we're going to be doing our riff, right? So let's do like so, which is zero, seven, six, seven. And you could even drop the middle finger and have two open strings. That sounds good. We've got, oh, Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q. Suzy Q, baby, I love you. So now we need an A sharp and you could play this shape because it's got an open D, which will make it kind of droney. So that's zero, seven, six, six. And then to get to a A7, you've got seven, six, eight, zero. And then you're back to your D7. So all those shapes are really close by. And the beautiful thing is you've got this open D in there. This is a really nice little arrangement we've just found. Well done. Thank you, Laura. So we've got that for your D7. And we've got this for your G7. And then all you have to do is swap that over for the A sharp. And this for your A7. And then back to the D7. Oh, Suzy Q. Oh, Suzy Q. Suzy Q, baby, I love you. Suzy Q. Love the way you walk. Love the way you talk. Love the way you walk, love the way you talk, Suzy Q. With the low D chiming all the way through. That could be really cool. Have a go with that. I hope that's taught you what you need to know to be able to perform this song, Lauro. Thanks for hanging out with me all the way to the end of the video. It makes such a difference. Gold star for you. See you in the next one. For now's the time To close your eyes And dream about The swirl in the sun Swirl in the sun And the swirl in the sky Sky. And the smile on the face, smile on the face.